In this video, we're going to have a look at a rule known as the distributive law. So, for example, if we want to see where this law comes from, if we want to multiply two numbers, and let's start with a nice straightforward one like 9 times 12, we already know, we should know, that the value of 9 times 12 is 108. But if we are dealing with very large numbers that we don't necessarily know the times tables for, one of the methods that we can use to work it out is to actually separate the numbers into their place values. So 12 is made up of a 10 and a 2. So if we add 10 and 2, we will make up the 12. And in order to multiply 9 by the whole of 12, we have to multiply the 9 by the 10 and we have to multiply the 9 by the 2. And this process of distributing multiplication over addition or subtraction is known as the distributive law. So 9 times 10 is 90 and 9 times 2 is 18. We can now add the results of the product. 90 plus 18 is 108 and we get exactly the same answer as we had from what we know 9 times 12 to be. So if we have a look at some algebraic examples where this becomes especially useful because we are unable to add unlike terms in an algebraic expression. So in number one, in the bracket we have 2a plus b. We're unable to add those, they're unlike terms. So in order to multiply by the 3, we can use this distributive law to distribute the 3 across the two terms in the brackets. So 3 times 2a is 6a and 3 times b is positive 3b. In number 2, we have a slightly different scenario because there are actually, it's a trinomial in the bracket, so we're going to need to multiply by all three terms in the bracket. And our number that we are multiplying by is being written at the end of the bracket. And this is not at all serious because if we think about multiplication, it is a what we call a commutative operation. In other words, it doesn't matter which way around you have the terms that you're multiplying. 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 2 is also 6. So all we're going to do here is distribute the 4 into the bracket in exactly the same way. So 4 times x squared is 4x squared, 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times 1 is 4. In number 3 we have the same situation except that the number we are multiplying by is negative. So we need to multiply the negative 3 into the bracket. Please be aware that these two brackets written next to each other mean that we are multiplying. In this case, because that 3 is a negative 3, if it was written like this, we would no longer be implying multiplication because this is a single term and this is a single term and the operation here would be subtraction. So the presence of those brackets makes this uh, multiplication uh, as opposed to an addition sum. So negative 3 times m is negative 3m, and negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12. In number 4, we still have brackets implying multiplication, but the value in front of the bracket is just a negative. And we need to remember that if there is a negative and there's no number written with it, it is actually implied that that value is negative 1. So we are actually multiplying a number of negative 1 into this bracket, Negative 1 times 2p squared is negative 2p squared. Multiplying by negative basically just changes the sign of the number that you're multiplying. So negative 1 times negative 9p will change to positive 9p, and negative 1 times positive 14 is negative 14. In your homework book, there are four examples for you to try on your own, so please pause the video here and try those. Number 1. 2x multiplied by x squared minus 3, we're going to distribute the 2x into the bracket. Remember that when you multiply powers with the same base, you need to add the exponents together. So the exponent on the x is positive 1, so 2 times 1 is 2, x to the power of 1 times x squared is x cubed, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then a negative times a positive is a negative, 2x times 3 is 6x. Number 2, we are distributing the 8 into the bracket. 8 times 2m is 16m, and 8 times 3m is 24m. Number 3, we are distributing a negative 1 into the bracket. 
negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared, negative 1 times negative 2x is positive 2x, and negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. So in effect, all we are doing is changing the signs of the um, operations that come in front of each term. Positive x squared becomes negative, negative becomes positive, and the positive becomes a negative. Okay, over here, we are doing a similar thing. We're distributing the negative into the bracket. A negative 1 times a negative 2a is a positive 2a, and a negative 1 times a positive 1 is a negative 1.